So we're back on FE build number one. Hope everybody's having a great day. Now, one thing I did do by just hap happenstance, I didn't have a proper length push rod length checker for this engine with these heads and the splash tray and everything and the adjustable rockers. Now, yes, those of you that are familiar with FE will notice this as the adjustable solid lifter valve train. You can also use it with the hydraulics. And again, we're using a lot of stuff that was already on hand for this project. And these rocker arms are going to be part of that. They're still in good shape. We've cleaned them. A couple of them are aftermarket replacements, but most of them are originals. And I got to determine the push rod length. So if I didn't have a manifold on, I'd be able to get both fingers in here and adjust. And of course, we're on number one here. With the comp cam hydraulic lifters, you want a 50 to 60 thousandths preload. So I'm going to go ahead and set this thing at 55 thousandths, dead in the middle of the tolerance. This is the exhaust valve whose exhaust is to the front on these FEs. And that's going to be your valve that expands the most. So that little bit of expansion will push it up towards the 60. So we should be fine. And on the intake, it'll remain pretty stable. It'll just get your normal thermal expansions from the heat in the engine. So what I got to do is measure, get zero, which I've already done. Then take these two bolts out. I just got two studs bolted down, locked down, I should say, to hold it in place and make sure we're tight against the head. This is the Edelbrock stud kit that you saw me install in some of the previous videos. I will then be able to take this push rod out, now that I've got it in place, deduct the depth of the cup, because this is a cupped push rod. And in case you don't know what that is, here's your regular push rod. Just has a little round end on it. Now, if it was a small block, big block Ford, big block Chevy, it would oil up through the push rod. FE Fords and big block Chryslers and your Y block Fords and some of your other older engines oil through their rocker shafts. Now, this is not a high performance, well, it is a high performance, but it's a factory high performance rocker setup. But this is standard FE shaft rockers. On the rocker arm end, you have a cupped push rod end. These little adjusters here are how you set your lash. And what I'll do with this push rod checker is it just unscrews and gets longer. And this one's way longer than it needs to be for this engine. If I can get one down in here. There we go. This one's just way longer than it needs to be. This is actually one for a 460. That's what we're going to do. And then when we're done, we'll get the overall length of this push rod from tip to tip. And then we'll deduct the depth of this cup, which is something like 150,000. And that'll give us our push rod length. We call up our camp, our push rod supplier, and I can either, if, I, if they got a push rod available off the shelf that's pretty close, like say within five thousandths, we can go that route, or we can have them make us a set the proper length, which in this case is going to measure out to something like uh, nine, nine inches and 225 thousandths, somewhere right in there. That's where we're at on FE build number one. We're getting real close to finishing this engine. Let me pull this thing out and we'll double check the length on it and see how close we are. We've had all kinds of little projects along the way lately. And this one I'm just now getting back to it. I got a couple of things that we're coming up. I think you all enjoy. We're working inside the air conditioning today. That's a good thing. All right, so we'll be able to just pick this up enough to get that push right out of my plan. There we go. This is when we use the great big calipers. Let me get it back on the end of the push rod here. There we go. So that verifies our first measurement and we know what length push rod we need to order. And that's really all there is to measure and push rods. Now you need to make sure if you got any extra accessories like this one has, let me see if I can zoom in on it here. 
This setup has this oil splash shield. We're actually gonna put those back. We gotta modify them a little bit to clear these rockers, but there's our oil splash shield. So you wanna make sure you got that in there because it's down here under your pedestals and that's gonna add a little bit of height, the thickness of that metal. So your push rod's gonna to need to be that 18 gauge or so steel there. You gotta be a little higher. So your push rod's gonna get a little longer. And you can take out the play and get your exact where you want it with these adjustable nuts here. So that's really all there is to setting one of these up. And since this one's common throughout, we just need 16 push rods that long. That's one of the last steps before we finish it up. From here out, it's just button it up, get all the accessories on the front of it. Let me zoom back down here. Get all our accessories on the front, put the thermostat housing on, get the valve covers on it. Put some spark plugs in it, rather it's the set that we're going to run or just a set to keep the dust out. So as always, practice your skills, learn a new one. If you don't know how to read a caliper, I got a video from back when I first started the channel on reading calipers. I'll put a link down in the, in the description. Practice your skills, learn a new one. Either way, turn it into craftsmanship. You never know how far it'll take you. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. This has been Fab Race Mod Repeat.